I don't know about you guys, but I'm always curious about the homes that are owned by billionaires. Elon Musk is one of them. He's even made the list of richest people in the world. Of course, the genius behind Tesla doesn't play small when it comes to real estate. He takes his property investments very seriously and favors Bel Air considering he has about six neighboring mansions there. In this video, we'll take a look at Elon's multiple houses that he spent over a hundred million on and more. Elon Musk is an engineer, industrial designer, technology entrepreneur, and philanthropist. We know him well for being the man behind Tesla and working to revolutionize transportation both on Earth and in space. To break it down, he's the founder, CEO, and chief engineer of SpaceX, co-founder, CEO, and product architect of Tesla Inc., founder of The Boring Company, co-founder of Neuralink, and co-founder of OpenAI. With these companies, Elon has his hands full working with a lot of different technologies. For instance, SpaceX is an aerospace manufacturer, OpenAI promotes friendly artificial intelligence, and of course, you already know Tesla manufactures luxury electric vehicles. Aside from Tesla, Elon doesn't invest in the stock market. He has has plenty of goals for the future he's working on though that revolve around his vision to change the world and help humanity. Like reducing global warming through sustainable energy and reducing the risk of human extinction by creating a human colony on Mars. All of Elon's accomplishments have landed him on Forbes' list of the world's most powerful people and most innovative leaders. He's the 20th richest person in the world and his estimated net worth is at $27.9 billion. At the time of this recording, Elon is 48 years old and is a citizen of South Africa. Africa, where he originates from, Canada where he attended university, and the US where he lived most of his life and currently resides. His Tesla headquarters where he works from is also located in California. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the homes of billionaire Elon Musk, like his $100 million compound in Bel Air and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. As always, I want to hear from you in the comments down below. I need you to let me know who to do next and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before we talk about Elon's current properties, we'll look at one of his houses that actually wasn't in Bel Air for once. He bought this home about five or six years back for 3.7 million and didn't actually live in it much. Apparently the home was for him and his ex-wife Tallulah Riley, but since they divorced, she occupied it, meaning he spent basically no time at all there. This house was located in Brentwood, California, which is in the East Bay region of the San Francisco Bay Area, not exactly close to LA. Although it's one of Elon's smaller homes, it spent 3,077 square feet and had four beds and 3.5 baths. Looking at the photos, if I was Elon's ex, I would be more than happy with the place. The house was modern looking from both the inside and outside, had plenty of open concept spaces, as well as floor to ceiling windows. It was full of cool finishes like hardwood floors, stone walls, custom wood cabinets, and glass tile bathrooms. Elon's contemporary Brentwood home featured a sleek chef's kitchen and spacious dining areas were attached. Not to mention the living and family rooms had sliding glass doors to easily access outside. The bedrooms were located in a separate wing of the house and included a deluxe master suite with direct access to the pool, a custom fit walk-in closet and spa style bathroom with garden tub. Not to mention, Elon made sure to update their Brentwood house with high tech amenities that fit his standards. Window shades, lights, music, temperature and security can all be adjusted via one small remote. Another highlight is a curved wall of windows. From wherever you are in the property, you'll likely be able to take advantage of the panoramic canyon, city and Pacific Ocean views. Moving outside the home, you'll find multiple terraces, seating and dining areas, green lawns, and tall hedges for extra privacy. Of course, no California home is really complete without a pool. Elon had a saltwater one as well as a spa. I believe the Brentwood home ended up being sold around fall 2019 for just under $4 million. Now we'll take a look at Elon's current living situation, or what would be his compound in Bel Air. A big chunk of his wealth seems to be invested in real estate considering he spent about $100 million total on a series of homes in the area since 2012. Apparently there are six mansions in close proximity to each other, not quite next door, but largely concentrated between two streets in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. 
Bel Air is located on the west side of LA in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains and is an elite neighborhood full of celebs and the well to do. Elon fits the bill, of course, considering he's a billionaire. Elon lives in the first Bel Air mansion he bought way back in 2012 for $17 million when he just began building his real estate portfolio. He bought the place through his Elon Musk revocable trust from hedge fund co founder Michael Julis and was later transferred to Callisto, an LLC linked to Elon. When he started snatching up multiple properties, the real estate agent said it was a decision motivated by utility, thanks to Elon's large family, staff, and visitors. The home sits on 1.7 acres of land and spans a massive 20,248 square feet of living space. Seeing the aerial view of the property, it looks like nothing short of a palace. There are seven beds, seven full baths, four half baths, and it overlooks the local country club. Anyways, Elon's primary mansion is modeled after a French country estate and has a classic regal look to it. It's perched high up on a hill offering expansive views. When he gave a tour on ABC News, we could see some indoor features of Elon's mega house. Apparently in his off time, he loves video games and hanging out with his five kids, so there's space to do that, often in the huge home movie theater. We can also see he has some sort of music studio with different instruments and an arcade game. There's a piano in one of the main living areas too. There's a large kitchen with state-of-the-art stainless steel appliances, a massive living room with a mink throw on one of the couches, and a two-story library. Elon likes to work out at least twice a week, which he does at his full home gym. Other features include a wine cellar, massive entertainment center, and five car garage. Outside on the grounds of his mansion, you'll find a full and lighted tennis court, pool, and spa, as well as patios and terraces to entertain or relax on. Elon had this main house remodeled in 2014, and these days it's currently valued at over 22 million, but he doesn't have plans to move out anytime soon. Next up, in October 2013, Elon added on to his real estate by adding a home on the same street as his main one that used to belong to none other than classic actor Gene Wilder, aka Willy Wonka. It cost Elon $6.75 million and the home is smaller than his main mansion to say the least. This place spans 2,756 square feet and has a guest cottage, swimming pool out back, and also overlooks the Bel Air Country Club. The existing ranch style home had three beds and three baths, and it sits on three quarters of an acre of land. According to the listing, it was an opportunity to develop a view property. Instead of moving into the smaller estate, Elon had other plans for it. The building was converted into Ad Asta, the home school Elon set up for his five sons to study with their private tutors. The school's address was apparently since been changed to a building partially leased by SpaceX and Hawthorne, so I'm not sure what he uses that house for for now. Elon's third house in Bel Air was on the same street and purchased in July 2015 for 20 mil. It was built in 1954 and underwent a remodel in 2009, and the home spans 7,000 square feet of space with six beds, eight baths, and sits on 3.47 acre lot. Elon must have been on a roll because that same month he purchased another much smaller house for 4.3 million. It wasn't on the same street street this time, but it was close by. It spanned 2,963 square feet and had four beds and four baths. Apparently lately, this house has been looking unkempt and neighbors claim it only looks occasionally occupied with no full-time residents. There are dead plants in pots by the front door and seven large garbage bins outside the garage. In 2016, Elon added on to his collection yet again, this time with a futuristic LA home purchased for over 24 million in an off-market deal. This ultra contemporary temporary house sits on a ridge overlooking Bel Air on one of the same streets as the rest. It spans 9,309 square feet inside with six beds and seven baths and sits behind a frosted glass wall. Apparently there has been frequent construction on the site and locally filed permits reveal the installation of features like a fire sprinkler system and even an elevator. These days this house is worth over 27 million. Elon's most recent add-on to his Bel Air real estate is another one on the same street of the previous few and was bought for 6.4 4 million in an early 2019 by Wyoming Steel, an LLC that shares SpaceX's headquarters. So obviously it was Elon. The white brick colonial style house spans over 3,943 square feet of living space over two stories. It has four beds and three baths and wasn't publicly listed on the market either, much like some of his other properties. This place is notable for being located right next door to one of Elon's other Bel Air homes. Unfortunately, this property's value has actually decreased since purchase and estimated to be worth 
about 4.2 million now. So that's it for Bel Air, but for Elon's seventh house, I've gotten conflicting information. It's reported that Elon doesn't appear to own a house near the Tesla factory in Fremont, California, which is way north of Bel Air. He has previously said he slept on a couch, a rather uncomfortable looking couch actually, during busy production periods. Then other sources say he in fact does own a seventh mansion in Hillsboro, California, which is very close to the Tesla headquarters. If this information is true, it's an expansive plot of over 47 acres with 100 year old mansion on the property. Apparently this house is also known as the Dugugni Court and Elon bought it in 2017 for over 23 million, down from an asking price of 100 mil. It was previously owned by the same family for 150 years and since Elon got it, it's been through many updates and modernizations. This home has a ballroom, flower arranging room, staff wing and pavilion with 18th century wallpaper and it's all put together on a tree lined estate with landscape gardens and huge driveway. These days the place would be worth over 27 million easily. Looking at this place it's more like a castle or something you'd see in a movie. Honestly what my dream home would look like. It's so royal. However I'm not sure Elon confirmed he bought this place or not. Do you guys know if he's the current owner? Alright guys that's all I got on billionaire Elon Musk's mansions like his collection of six in Bel Air and the one we think he may own in North California. Which one of Elon's homes was your fave from what we could see? I think his main one is definitely gorgeous but if he does own that castle like home in Hillsboro, that one for sure. Be sure to let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!